Growing up working in my dad's machine shop, there was a saying he used to use a lot that I used to hate as a kid. I'd be running my machine while sitting on a table, and without fail, my dad would see me sitting there and yell from across the shop, If there's time to lean, there's time to clean, Barry. I would always think to myself, Jeez, man, my machine is running. Who cares if I'm sitting down reading a magazine or newspaper? Keep in mind that we didn't have cell phones way back then. But as I got older, I realized the importance of what he was teaching me. I realized that this wasn't just for the company's benefit, but for my own as well. Part of being a great machinist is being clean and organized. While a machine is running production, there is a lot that you can be doing to make yourself more efficient. Now on some jobs, you need to be watching the entire time. Proving out new programs, first runs, jobs where tools may wear or break. But in production, you can be doing things like carefully deburring your part from the last cycle, organizing your workbench, carefully lining up all of your finished parts in exactly the same orientation, which makes it easier to identify non-conforming features visually, refilling your coolant tank, building tools for the next job, and so much more. Even just grabbing a broom. Now I mentioned that this was the my benefit, and that's true in two ways. First, when you keep yourself busy, time flies. I remember sitting there all day watching the clock and it seemed like it never moved. But once I started keeping myself busy, the day went by a lot faster. I also found that I'd started to race myself and was constantly trying to beat my own times. Like if it took me 20 seconds to change out a part, I started trying to get it down to 15 seconds, then 10. This added a little aspect of fun as now I was in a never ending competition with myself. And as I got faster and more efficient, I was suddenly making more money. And then I was racing other people and having fun and laughing with them. I know it sounds funny, but I remember pretending that I was a robot, and every move I made was carefully executed with precision. I'd get so mad when I'd close the door and hit cycle start, only to realize that I'd close the door a little too hard and it bounced open just enough that it didn't make the safety switch, and that cost me two seconds on my changeover. Keeping a clean work area and clean machine is also super important. I'll never forget and never repeat the mistake of not cleaning the bottom of a vise before mounting it to the table. One chip is enough to make your entire setup junk. It's so much easier just to take the time to make your setup perfect than have to troubleshoot an entire process in reverse just to find out that your mistake was the very first thing you did, cleaning off your table. My point is that as a young machinist in this trade, a lot of the older and more experienced guys are going to try and pass on good work habits but they do it in a way that might seem like it's unnecessary or extra work. I always think back and the old guys were kind of like Mr. Miyagi from The Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off wasn't just to wash the old guy's car. So keep that in mind the next time your boss makes you use a file instead of a belt sander. He just might be trying to turn you into a machining ninja. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon.